Moments after arriving in Bolivia, Pope Francis met with the country's president, Evo Morales. Following tradition, gifts were exchanged, but the gifts the president gave to the pope lifted some eyebrows. They were politically charged gifts, including a crucifix connected to a hammer and sickle, the international symbol of communism. The same design was also included in the necklace the president gave to the pope. As Morales explained its significance, the pope remained expressionless. Afterwards, the pope made his way to the cathedral of La Paz, where he addressed civil authorities. Among them was the president. The relationship between Bolivia and the local church has a tense history. The Pope highlighted that religion and its programs should not be limited to a subculture. El compromiso cristiano en obras sociales, en extender el bien común. Bolivia, like other countries in Latin America, he said, is facing many challenges, from unemployment to domestic violence. A strong family unit, he said, is part of the solution, and not deceiving ideologies. Y recibiendo pseudo soluciones desde perspectivas que no son saludables a la familia, sino que provienen claramente de colonizaciones ideológicas. In a country where social inequalities continue to be a main challenge, the Pope reminded civil authorities to consider the greater good in their policies. Y así confundimos sin darnos cuenta el bien común con el bienestar. Y ahí se va resbalando de a poquito, de a poquito. Y el ideal del bien común como que se va perdiendo y termina en el bienestar. Sobre todo cuando somos nosotros los que los disfrutamos. Unlike ideologies, he said, the light of Jesus is not a blinding light, Instead, it's one that leads. The Pope then highlighted that the gospel does not belong to the church, but rather it's her responsibility to preach it and extend it beyond its borders.